Do you want a, a dramatic end to that game? Um, end to end, and it, it looked like it was uh, it was going to be point shared until the the, the very last minute. Um, how, how do you sum that up? It's a wonder goal at the end, isn't it? It's an absolute wonder goal. Callum can produce these moments. Uh, he's got them in his locker. Uh, a goal fit to win any game, but I think first half I thought was probably even. I thought that both teams had chances. Sam's made a couple of good saves. Both teams have hit the bar. They've cleared balls, uh, we've had some good balls in the box, uh, just a wee bit unlucky in not getting, getting the goal that we were, I thought we deserved in the first half. However, start of the second half, we went down this end, great ball in the box, just a bit score from it, and then from that, they break up the park. A little bit uh, concerned about the, the defence that we allowed the lad to come inside, 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 which is something that we don't, you know, don't want. And it opens up the goal for the shot, and it's a, it's a good strike, fair enough. But then I showed uh, the team showed great character. I thought we dominated the game. After that, we went for the equaliser. We get the equaliser. Uh, again, there's a good move in, involved in it. Uh, Alfie's you know, swivelled in the ball, shot. Gary's here to, to put it in, and it was no more than we deserved. You know, I thought we deserved to be at least on, on level terms, and we went for the. What I was hoping was going to be the winning goal, the second goal, and another really, really good move. Brad Spencer involved with, with Ross McIver at the edge of the box, bounced a one-two, which is something we work on. And uh, you know, maybe it's a bit unfortunate for for Sean Dillon that the ball comes on off his arm, uh, but we get the penalty, and Callum sticks it away. So Callum getting himself two goals today, and then of course there's a penalty at the other end. Uh, two each. You're thinking, you know. I honestly felt we were a better team second half. I felt they maybe had two chances and they got two goals from it. Whereas I thought we were creating, 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 creating chances all the time. Uh, and to pop up with that goal so late. But it's not a coincidence, you know, it's no an accident. You know, it's something that we do like the last game here, you know, against Queen of the South. We score very late in the game, we keep going right to the end. We've got good players, we've got goals and, you know, three goals today again at home, three goals. Another three goals, 23 goals in eight games, it's a good record. And uh, Montrose came into this game on the back of four wins. You know, it was another test for us today. Character today, mentally today. First time we went behind, first time we'd even lost a goal at home uh, in the league. So, questions to be asked, the guys to stand up and be counted. We spoke about that at half time. It wasn't as, you know, dominant a performance as we have had here, which basically every game we've dominated. So, it was a right good test today. And we, we've delivered, you know, we've delivered. We came through the game and we've delivered the, the result and the performance. Montrose are really, a really tough team to get a result uh, against as well. They came here, five at the back. They like to slow the game down. Um, probably more, more dominant. Just you're the best. Probably more dominant after they scored the goal. Do you think that was a maybe a wee bit of a, a wake-up call? Well, we got a reaction, yeah. If you lose a goal, you're looking for the mentality and you're looking for a reaction. I'm not so sure it was a wake-up call because I thought we were always on the front foot anyway, you know. It's all about getting that, that first goal more often than not. Today, as I said, you know, Montrose got that first goal and then it's a test for us. And uh, the mentality was fantastic. Uh, the way that the guys responded, you know, so that, 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 that is big. That is big. That's huge. That's huge. We've not been here before this season. So we came up with the answers. So... No, I think we got a reaction, not necessarily a wake-up call. We got the, we got the right reaction. Uh, Brad Spencer took a key role in dominating the ball, dominating uh, the forward attacking play. Callum was also an outlet and a threat, getting crosses in the box. Alfie was a big threat down the other side. And Ross was always there or thereabouts. He's a bit unlucky with one in the second half. He doesn't quite catch it right, the goalie makes a save. If he catches it right, you know, he's picking it at the back of the net. And of course, Gary Oliver pops up with a goal as well. He's in the right place at the right time. Uh, very, very important. Uh, it was a blow to lose Nizzy, but Gary's came on and, and filled his boots. Uh, no, we're really delighted with the, the result and the performance. And how is uh, Nizzy doing after after coming off injured? His knee is stiff. You know, it's stiffened up. Uh, very early to give any indication. Uh, I don't actually know. You know, 
his knee he came off with a knee injury, a little bit of a twist. You know, knees are knees, eh? We've all been here before with knees, you just never ever know. It's no, no, never great. Obviously, um, you mentioned the, the great character shown by the squad, um, even more so given the fact that um, put under pressure again for the second week in a row with uh, Hamilton getting the. The stadium is now a bit of a bed uh, With Hamilton getting the result last night, um, you know, showing off the, the, that character even more under that type of pressure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we never mentioned Hamilton, you know, uh, of course, everyone will. We were at the game, myself and Paul were at the game, uh, and obviously looking forward, it's going to be you know a big, I don't think, uh, computer at Sp Sp all the fixtures at the beginning of the season there could have got it any better, you know, the last game of the quarter, two teams with Mac, well, 22 points each, uh, a phenomenal return for, for both teams, you know, both teams are flying. Uh, so yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe the players look at it that way. We never mentioned it in the dressing room, never at any time. So we've just, we're going out. We always prepare looking at the opposition, but we always have our game plan as well. And, uh, you know, that, that was the same today. At three o'clock, you know, nothing to do with what happened last night. It'll always come down to how we perform and how, through that performance, we can get the results. Speaking of Hamilton, they're, uh, they're next up. Um, perhaps your biggest test of the season uh, so far? Yeah, well, I think the league table tells you that, yeah. I mean, I don't know if we're both 10 points clear or whatever. I know now we're, we're 10 points clear of eh? Montrose, well, who were like seven points behind us. You know, when we played uh, Queen of the South, they were like seven and then we, or, you know, it went, it went to seven, then it went to 10. So, you know, it's looking very much like it, you know. Uh, Fair play to Hamilton, we know, we know they've got good players. Yeah, they've got good players, they're a good team. We, we, we respect them. But, you know, we've got our own, our own aims, our own objectives, and uh, we'll pre prepare, start preparing almost immediately and be ready for the game next Saturday. Absolutely, John. Thank you for your, your time and uh, congratulations on another one. Thank you.